everyone! Sorry it's been so long since I've done an update. I actually did one... I don't remember now. I'll have to look. But it was like on Monday or Tuesday. Thought I posted it. Um, I don't know. It didn't post. So I didn't upload to YouTube. So I have this video I need to get put on YouTube still. But So there's an update there, but you guys haven't seen it yet. Although by now, if you're watching this one, you may have... I'm going to upload them in order so you'll have seen it, but I should have posted it earlier in the week. So now all that rambling was doesn't really make any sense because it's all kind of hindsight now. But anyways, I am... Let me count here. Let's well, Anyways, let's just start with... I started stimming on Sunday, which I talked about in my last video. And, um, so let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, what is today? Friday? So I'm on day six of stims. I had my ultrasound and, um, blood work done yesterday just to see how many follicles I have and see where my hormone levels are at. I have four follicles that range in size from eight and a half to 11 millimeters and then 10 smaller ones. They didn't tell me the size on those, they just said 10 smaller ones. And I don't know what my, my levels were at, my progesterone, LH, and estrogen levels were at, they didn't tell me, but um, I don't know, I don't really know what to think about my follicles. Um, I'm a little disappointed that I only have four that are, you know, out there that are bigger at this point. I'm hoping that a lot more of those smaller ones in that group of ten catch up, if not all of them. Because at this point, if those four are the only ones that wind up mature, since I'm doing the shared donor egg program, if I produce five or less, my recipient gets all of them. So if I produce at least six, we'll share them 50-50. And anything above six, we'll share. So I'm real, I was really hoping to get at least 10, if not, you know, closer to 20, so that we'd have a lot to split. Um, so that's that. I asked the nurse that did my ultrasound, which, um, what she thought and she said definitely she thought some of the 10 smaller ones would catch up so that was kind of encouraging I guess to hear it but she I don't know she's like kind of very monotone when whether it's good or bad news so I never know how to read her but I'm hoping that you know when she said she thought they'd catch up that they really will um, so Cooper Institute said to just stay on on my meds the same until Monday. Monday I will only take 75 units of Folistem rather than 150. So they're cutting my dose in half on Monday. And then Monday morning I go in for another ultrasound and more blood work to see where, where I'm at then. So I'm really hoping that come Monday I'll have another five or six follicles that have caught up and are good size and we'll go from there. I'm really really hoping that um, I don't know that we'll get good news and possibly be heading out to New Jersey next week. I'm I can't believe that. I'm, like, I'm excited that it's getting this close and who knows it, it could be it could be really really soon. I don't think it'll be the earlier part. I'd be really surprised if Monday I went in and they said everything looked good, trigger, let's go. I'm expecting to have to go back in maybe the next day, maybe on Wednesday or Thursday for another ultrasound and blood work. But who knows at this point? I'm not experienced at it, so who am I to say? Uh, I would just really appreciate any thoughts, prayers, whatever, positive stuff to for some of those smaller ones to catch up so I actually get a chance at being pregnant in this cycle because if I have to give all my eggs obviously there's no chance that I would wind up pregnant um 
Let's see. Side effects. I feel like I've been really emotional. I had a breakdown. I'm trying to think if I talked about that in my last video or if I had my breakdown yet. I don't remember, so we'll talk about it now. I had a complete breakdown when I went to give myself the inje one injection one night. I was telling my husband about my difficulty and why I was mad more at myself that I just couldn't do it. Like I was hesitating and the more I hesitated the worse it got. So I was telling him about it and he didn't really respond and he just kept going about his business and for some reason that just caused my emotional breakdown. And I, I started crying and all that and I couldn't see through the tears to give myself the injection so it was it was a mess but I decided after that night to start icing the injection site because I'm bruising really bad and it was hurting like I've been really sore from the injections so I started icing before I give myself the injections and that way I can't really feel it. I can still feel the sting of the follow stem going in and the Menipure. It burns when it goes in. The Menipure especially feels like a pinching, like, like basically like somebody stabbing me with the needle the whole time it's going in. I don't know, it's really hard to explain unless you've had Menipure before. But, well, as soon as it's injected, it's, it's fine. So the icing seems to help with all of it. I'm not bruising anymore, I'm not getting big bumps. I mean, it's all still a little sore, but it's not nearly as bad as before I was icing. Um, so, like I said, I've been emotional. I, we were watching Finding Nemo, I was watching Finding Nemo with my son, and I was crying at how good of a father Marlon is, and I, that was stupid. I mean, come on, I shouldn't have been crying at that. And I was. I mean, like, full-on tears. And another movie was on, just a Lifetime movie, and I'm bawling at that. So I know I'm more emotional because of these hormones. At least I'm going to say I am because of the hormones. I'm starting to feel a fullness in my, my ovaries, but it's really hard to know for certain because I thought I started to feel something yesterday, but I'm so sore. My stomach is just sore, so it's hard to tell if I'm sore because of the injections or because of my ovaries getting full. I really still am not 100%, but I feel like today it's definitely a little more in my ovaries. But it, it's barely noticeable. It's probably because I'm paying attention for a sign, you know, to feel like I can feel these follicles getting bigger. Um, so a word of advice for anybody with a small, like built small, I am five foot three, 109 pounds, and the two of those pounds have been gained through this IVF cycle, and I mean, I'm like tiny rib cage, so my waist is just super, super tiny, and um, I'm running out of places for the injections to go, because I'm doing three a day, I'm alternating sides, but four or five days later, my stomach's still sore from the injection, so I'm running out of space. So, um, anybody who's maybe envied a really thin person, if they have to do IVF, don't be envious. If you've got more of a stomach, be glad for that. If you don't have much of a stomach, I'm sorry. You have my, my pity and, um, it sucks. I understand. I get it. Um, I would definitely be happy with a little extra, a little extra around the middle right now to inject into. Never thought I'd want some more around my tummy because I've always like prided myself in having nice flat stomach with nice abs and all that. Well, not anymore. It's not making it fun right now. But it'll all be worth it when I have a nice big bulge there of a pregnant belly soon, like in just a couple months. So I'm trying to stay positive. Trying, trying, trying. I am probably forgetting a bunch of things, especially to do with these meds and like side effects or anything like that. But really, I don't, I don't know. It hasn't been terrible, except for my little breakdown the one day. I'm just 
get Nancy getting nervous to see how many follicles I'm going to wind up with, how many mature eggs I'm going to wind up with. So I will definitely give an update um, early in the week. So I hope everybody has a great weekend.